And Casey Fitzgerald has joined us here on Sabres Live. How are you feeling today, head to toe? Good. I was feeling fast out there this morning, real light. So, um, yeah, it's awesome. Glad to be part of this uh, yesterday, and it was a lot of fun. Getting up in the morning is easier now, eh? You yeah. get up, you get in the shower, oh, you're, you're ready gone. to go. Yeah, I had a little bit of a moment where I woke up and kind of brushed my eyes and looked in the mirror, and I completely <laughs> forgot about it. <laughs> kind of jumped back, but it looks it looks good. I like it. I got some compliments. Who so far. shaved your head? Um, Sophia, the, the young girl. Okay. There. And then Krebsy did the finishing touches. So as I was talking to KC Middlestat, and now that you have we have two KC, we used to only refer to KC as one, team, one yeah. person. Now we have to make the adjustment. But I was talking to KC Middlestat, and he says JJ Paterka was shaving his head and was actually saying, "Oh, I'm gonna fade it nice." He was like doing a full style haircut. Oh yeah. Casey's like. No, no, no. You're not cutting my hair. Yeah, right? I pushed him. I pushed him to Casey. I said, oh, "You go all the way down there." He, he wanted to do mine. I said, "Keep it moving, kid. Not a chance. <laughs> not a chance." Okay, so is there a universal uh, feeling in the room that you or Bryson looks the best, and that Casey Middlestat might have come out on the wrong end of all of this? <laughs> is that what the people are saying? <laughs> I'll let, I'll let I the know, people... It might have been a vibe that I got yeah. in the room today. So uh, I'll let that speak for itself. But I think, <laughs> I, 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 no, Casey just looks like he's like eight real, years old. He's like old the Gerber or baby. The real he's Slim literally Shady. like the Gerber <laughs> baby, that, that guy on the commercial. Yeah. So. Amazing. Hey, this is all. I mean, there's so much to talk about uh, from a, an appearance standpoint. You guys are rocking these tonight. Now, again, not available in store yet. November 15th, these will be available in the Sabres store. So, you know. Prepare for that. But the sight tonight will be this head to toe. How are you feeling about it? What is it? Uh, what's the kind of behind the scenes anticipation like? Oh, it's very exciting. I mean, you feel like a kid again with all these New Jerseys coming out. It's, it's such a cool idea that, you know, the league's doing with these New Jerseys every year. And, um, you know, I love this one. The black one's awesome, too. So it's, it's really cool to be a part of. And, um, and we got a sneak peek of it a couple of weeks ago. I, and I love that they get a sneak peek. Yeah. Well, uh, it's yes. So oh, we were, and, yeah. and I love that you guys all are wearing the uh, the apparel. Like, when you got – did you get a bag full of stuff or did they put it in your stall? How do you get, like, the sweatshirt, like the, this? the, the yeah. T-shirts, all of that stuff? Does it come in, like, a personalized bag? No, or? this was all t this morning. We just showed up and it was, like, Christmas morning. We, we opened the door and uh, all of our oh. – uh, our stuff was sitting there waiting for us, but it was good. I, I snuck into the back room a couple weeks ago. We, they were kind of holding out on us. They wouldn't let anyone see it, and I got a, a, a glimpse of it, so it was nice. We There's, need to get our own stalls in there, Duffer, so well, we can like, you, keep piling it on. Casey, of course, had to showcase the new haircut, yeah. but like you know, it, in the room, like the caps, the hoodies. I'll tell you what, though. The equipment staff going gold today yep. with some yeah. of their uh it is a really really bold look as well yeah. but it's attention to detail like it's like the little throwback like oh, here the, the orange, the orange the nhl like really cool. it's like it, it it really pops on stuff like yeah. this so um i don't know I, my guess is that it all ties in for you in that like this is this is a fun time like everything's going going pretty well is that a fair statement absolutely yeah, yeah. i mean it's it's fun we're playing fun hockey right now and now we've got the fun jerseys to go with it so it's, it's it's cool it's a good time so every time you shoot the puck from the point now i'm like cheering man yeah. like you missed like you barely missed a couple of yeah. times against detroit and i'm cheering um and we were laughing because of you know some off the air comments you and matthias samuelson have said about scoring your first goal and all of that but how how do you feel about that aspect of your game, like getting close to to putting one in the back of the net? Yeah, we. I mean, we've talked a lot. Me and Sammy. I mean, we. So I don't think we're either one of us are ever going to score a goal here. So, <laughs> but hopefully we can get one off the shin or something and, and trickle <laughs> in, maybe off the butt and go in. Just uh, any way you can take it. But we're. I mean, we're not focused on it. It's it's, it's fun to laugh at, but um, yeah. Maybe when it comes, it comes. But even on the Thompson one timer goal the other day, like I'm focused on the Skinner pass across to Tomer. And then Duffer looks at me and goes, did you see who was in front of the net? Like, if there's a rebound and the back behind the back pass, like, it was you. Like, you were, you were like, aggressive yeah. trying to get to the front of the net there. I was, yeah, I was waiting for I was hopefully maybe one trickled right there. And I'd snap it in. But, I mean, with Thomas shot, usually they're going in. So, I'll take that. Yeah, probably the most likely scenario would be under the goalie's arm. It trickles. It's about to go over the line. <laughs> yeah. And you, and you push it in. in. That's what you I mean. steal it. That's what I, mean. I was hoping. I, I, it's going to happen somewhere off the head or something ridiculous. Yeah. But go to the net. Good things happen.
Uh, there's so much to discuss. Uh, last night, crazy night again in the NHL. It's just uh, the pace is crazy. It's hard to just lock down games. And yet, you know, last game is a really good example of how you guys are playing. It's a one-goal game, and all of a sudden it ends up 8-3. Mm -hmm. um, wh what is it like just you know, maybe more technically speaking, to be playing this style of hockey right now, and, and, it's, and especially from the defense position. Like how, you know, you said fun, but how challenging is it, the pace of the game and trying to defend the pace of the game? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of fast players out there that we, we've been matched up against. Um, but I think the one big thing for us is the emphasis on staying the course and winning the 16 minutes. Donnie's harped on that, and that's been huge. And you could tell just that last game, you know, playing, you know, we're up two goals, with nine minutes left, I mean, it could be a close game, and we just keep pressuring, keep doing that, and eventually teams um, will start to break down, and that's one thing that we're trying to continue to do is just playing the full 60 minutes and trying to win the 60 minutes, um, you know, making the smart plays in the third period when the time's right and, you know, um, getting the puck in when you have to. Just trying to be responsible and playing a more mature 60 minutes this year has been one thing that I think we've made a huge step. What about, like, so you start the season – and obviously, Sammy, Yoki, are you? Labushkin are in the lineup, and now all of a sudden, lose all three of them. You come in, you have to play a big role, um, and you you look at the shot attempts. The last few games, you guys give very little shot attempts to uh, Chicago and Detroit. So defensively, you guys are playing well. Uh, is it a system? Is do you feel like everybody's really buying into the system? Uh, is it the forwards are helping more more now? What what's the key to what's been working defensively? I'd say all the above. I mean, yeah. it's I think as a decor, you know, these young these guys coming up from Roch, Larry, and and Klager have been tremendous at just jumping in and learning um our system right away especially you know get, you got guys coming from other teams who played on other teams it's yeah. tough to learn a completely new system so uh, just buying in in that role um and playing fast you know we try to close out plays before it gets even into our zone so we don't have to play in our zone um but i think the biggest thing too has just been our forwards our forwards have been awesome yeah. you know flying around the ice mm -hmm. getting back for us allowing us to step up and um you know make plays and on the offensive zone blue line you know because you know they're supporting you getting you back so um, I think all the above is just factored into it. What's it like being related to a Kachuk? <laughs> two, two Kachuk. I Three know. Two. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was trying to trying to minimize the impact of yeah. <laughs> Kachuk's plural, but I had to, you know, just think back to the start of the year. I know you weren't in the games, but you know, it was back to back Kachuks for the Sabres yeah. at the start of the year, and uh, I don't know. I, what? what, it, what uh, and I was hearing it in the locker room all day. <laughs> I mean, I was hearing it just, you know, they were giving it to him, they were giving it to me as well. But it's something that I've been, you know, my whole, we, we were playing hockey when we were 13, 14 years old together. So yeah. nothing's changed. It's been the same the whole way. And, um, yeah, that's just how it's been. Well, because you're mentioning the Kachucks, and, and mostly it was Matthew in the second game that Darlene, like, was having a battle with. What are you seeing out of Rasmus? Because you are obviously are on the ice on the back end. And, and the physicality and the in your face approach that he's shown this year mm -hmm. you've been around enough now to see that it's grown on him what do you what do you see is it impressive what he's been able to do oh absolutely i think that's one of the biggest reasons why he you know wears a letter he's such a let, uh, a leader out there he's super competitive you know a lot of guys especially now in, in this day you know you that, that got that skill you could easily just rely on that but he's got so much more and he he plays every game he wants to win so badly mm -hmm and um he's super competitive um so you know it's just a respect factor I, I see it you know a lot of guys in the back end you know, myself sammy have that you know grit but to see it from your star player is awesome did you see his reaction to thomas hat trick goal last game how he put his hand down uh, yeah. like tougher re like kind of related it to winning wimbledon like you yeah. you win the last points you're like oh yeah, just, like just, just so collapsed. happy yeah, yeah. Uh, i mean i think everyone on the bench there's probably some crazy celebrations but that kind of nailed it to a t what that goal was like that was i mean sports center top 10 right there that was yeah. nice absolutely thank you uh first Thanks and foremost for, for doing this absolutely. for everyone in the community and yep. through roswell park yeah. it's uh it's a big part of every hockey season we're in hockey fights cancer month and uh thank you and the guys for doing that yesterday and continued success absolutely thanks guys appreciate it